Those proposals, part of a nine page restart Cleveland plan laid out by the mayor today. It includes millions of dollars to help struggling businesses and residents, as well as shifting workers out into the community to teach people how to avoid getting sick. Mayor Frank Jackson's message today, Cleveland's not out of the woods yet. The city hard hit by COVID-19 infections, its economy hobbled by shutdowns. City Hall's plan addresses both those areas. If we do this right, the city of Cleveland would be a position to be better off in terms of the recovery and it will be sustainable and have a better benefit and outcome for all the residents and businesses. For businesses, the mayor unveiled $10 million in loan programs to help with rent, payroll and other expenses related to lost income due to coronavirus and to purchase protective equipment for workers. For residents, more than $11 million in rental assistance to keep those faced with job loss from losing their homes. More than $4 million in basic needs assistance for help with food, utilities and homeless outreach. $2.5 million for special needs assistance and half a million dollars for broadband assistance for families of city school students without internet access. But Jackson stressed COVID-19 isn't just something they can throw money at. Now it is time for us to double down on the things that we are already doing to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. If not, everything that we put in place to address the economic and social aspects of the, this pandemic will be a waste of time and it will be a waste of money. So the city is developing a plan to increase testing for at-risk populations and expanding public education campaigns aimed at driving home how people can avoid the virus. That includes shifting non-essential workers to help with health outreach in the community. Jackson repeatedly warning, even as the city begins to reopen, the risk remains real. The exposure of people and people coming in contact with each other will intensify, which means the possibility and probability of infections and death will occur. Because of that, the mayor says City Hall will remain closed to the public three days a week through May. He says the city is also working on plans to balance things like reopening rec centers and pools with the need to keep people safe. In Cleveland, I'm 500 Side Investigator Scott Knowles.